We created this program to help first-generation Latino students engage in college and commit in completing a college degree. We go out to the different high schools in our service area to promote it to the Latino students as they're completing their senior year in high school. We help them through the process of enrolling in college and at the same time we invite them to form part of the program. Once the students learn about it and they see their other friends joining the program, they're like, oh, okay, this is the path I want to follow. The Latino cohort has helped me a lot. At first I was really shy and terrified of coming to college, but they helped a lot through the process of applying to college, getting my classes. The Latino cohort offers like that sort of similar culture for all those Latinos, so in a way we are connected already before we even get to know each other, and it helps as a foundation in order to grow together. Study hall sessions that we have um, created for this group of students have been very beneficial to the students because they help one another they um, have a cohort coach in the study hall sessions, but they also reach out to their peers so that they can actually um, you know, get the problem solved um, by listening to someone who they trust. It helps you stay focused, it's like times where you don't want to go to school or like just want to give up and they help you stay motivated, they push you to keep going. Like you get your homework done for the next week so you don't have to stress throughout the week. And like I have a job outside of school so it just helps me stay focused and like not stress as much as I would without it. Our Latino parents are very, very appreciative. Our parents want our students to be successful. They want them to have better jobs. They want to see them have a career versus a job. And we know that the students need the support from the institution so that they can actually engage in their academics and successfully complete their classes every semester. What I talk to the students about is the importance of setting a good example for their siblings. Parents definitely uh, have cried. Have they cry when they see their daughter or son going across the stage because they just can't believe it that their um, son or daughter graduated. Um, to me it's extremely, extremely rewarding to see the impact that one student has on, in, in the household. Because this is what I tell the students, I said, if you graduate from college, not only are you going to be benefit from this, but your entire family is going to benefit from this. And then hearing the parents in the community um, brag about their, their son or daughter who graduated from WNC is just, it's magnificent. They are actually really, really proud of me, even though they can't really give me that knowledge, support, they are there as a family giving me that um, support to keep moving forward, not just for myself, but for my brother and my sister. I see them taking a lot of um, inspiration from me and they actually throw themselves into the work as well. I want to challenge my brother and my sister to go further than me. Well, she's happy. She didn't get into college education and she like bettered my life to come and join the WNC and get an education and it just motivates my sister to do the same thing. It's a lot, honestly. She's always been there and it just helps me like push myself and be better, do things for her. She'll be happy and just tell me to keep going, like don't stop here, just keep pushing. We have nurses in the community. We have teachers in the community. In fact, one of our, our students uh, from the 2010 is teaching in one of the elementary schools um, here in our community. So it's fabulous to see them actually you know, performing in their profession. It's very important because to make something out of myself, I have to get an education. Without an education, I won't get a good job or anything like that. It's close to home. I didn't want to go that far yet, like coming out of high school. Still got to get used to the college life and the state here is cheaper too, save money. Where I see myself in the future is helping in a hospital, becoming an RN, just working inside the ER and helping people. I always refer to these students as our future leaders and that's one thing I tell them. I say, you know what, you could be the next governor, you could be the next president from WNC, you could be, you know, the director of any place, any institution that you go to. I always remind them how how much potential they have only if they set their mind to do it.